If elements are not assigned a material, they will assume the material of the category that they belong to. And if their category is not assigned a material, they will appear gray. In our model, notice the gray handrails. To assign a material to an object category, go to the Manage tab and select Object Style. Notice the categories are listed on the left side and the materials assigned to the categories are listed on the right side. Let's navigate to Railings. There is no material assigned to this object category, which is why it shows up gray in the model. Select the Material box. Give the railings a material, for example, Paint Yellow. Select OK. Notice that the new color now shows up next to the railings in the Object Styles menu. Select OK again. Select OK again and notice that our rails are now yellow. Select the railings and edit the type properties. Now edit the rail structure. The material for all the rails are defined by category, which is why they appear as our default yellow. Let's change the material of the larger rails to be paint blue. Select OK to apply these changes. With these new type properties, the larger handrails have been changed to blue, while the other rails have stayed yellow, as they are still defined by category. Switching to the studio, let's examine the materials of the console table. First, select the table. The materials in the instant properties are all defined by category, which is why the table is gray. Change the table surface material to glass. Notice how the model has changed to reflect the new material. Now, let's change the table frame and pedestal to wood cherry. When finished, we can see the changes in our 3D section view.